So hi, I'm Elena. I'm here with Charlotte and Marie, and we are super excited to tow the starting line at the NCAA Nationals again next Saturday. Talk a little bit about that journey this year to get to Nationals. Um, going into semester, we knew that we are a good team, but you know, it's always a, this one thing being a good team on paper and then actually executing in the races. So I feel like we did pretty well already at the beginning of the semester, but just figured it out more and more how to work with your teammates and how to be successful as a team. Yeah, and each time we wanted to show everybody what we were doing um, here uh, at training and we wanted to like be uh, battle with the, the other good teams. I think it's, it gives you a lot of confidence going into these races. Um, when you're training day in, day out with a group of girls who you know are running fast and, and you just have to, to be there with them. Um, and you, if you can do that in training, then when we go out on race, then it's much easier to, uh, to battle with the best girls in the country. Elena, you were here in 2013 when I would say previous to this year was the best year. So talk about the differences between this year and 2013's team. Um, well, 2014 for me personally, I was a sophomore and I was running with a lot of seniors. So for me, 2013 was almost a little bit unreal. I feel like I didn't really recognize what was going on because I had so many great seniors around me just like basically carrying me through the race a little bit. And now we are really like a young team, but everybody is like so committed working with each other and is so committed to put in the work and it definitely pays off in the results now as we see. You guys weren't here in 2013. Talk about maybe what you see in a leader like Elena in this, and even though you're young as a whole, talk about that senior leadership and coaching too. It's really great to have someone on the team who, uh, who knows the system, knows, knows how things work. Um, she, she knows like the, the routines we have to go through before the race, when we get to the race. Um, yeah, and it, it makes it easier for, for the rest of us if we can just follow someone um, who knows what they're doing, basically. Yeah, and she already ran most of the courses, so <laughs> <laughs> she gives us tips and we listen to her. <laughs> for example, she told us that at regionals the last finish line was really long and it was really long. <laughs> And then talk a little bit about your regional performance uh, as a team and maybe individually as well. Um, I mean, as a team, we were just like really happy with that third place. We were so close to being an auto qualifier, but we already put in the work before. So it was just giving us confidence going internationals that we're actually like really getting better from race to race and our fitness is there. And now it's just time, as Helen says, to have some serious fun. We've got better each race throughout the year, I think. we. We, as Elena said before, we knew on paper we, that we could be a good team um, and I think we've slowly shown that as, as we've moved through the season and we just seem to, to get better with each race which uh, bodes well going, going to the Nationals next week. And then talk about maybe your game plan going to the Nationals, uh, what you expect to see and experience as new and old people running the race and kind of what your plan is. Um, I mean, first of all, it's cross country, so you never really know what is going to happen. You don't know how the weather is going to be, how the course is going to lay down. But at the end, it's just another way race, and we know that we're fit, so we want to work like off each other, work together. And when it gets tough, really like race for your teammates and not race for yourself, because it's much easier to put in like to go through the pain when you race for somebody else. Mm. Running. Uh, with the team makes you go further in the effort at the point where you're really exhausted you think about the team and all the trainings we've done together and we just continue. Charlotte maybe talk individually about yourself and your running this year you've been on a really strong trajectory and obviously at regionals I don't know if it was a surprise to you but it was pretty impressive <laughs> to us to see you finish second just maybe talk about how how individually that works and then how that works overall through the team too. Yeah, well I think uh, I had a bad race at the, at the conference meet and um, 
so I didn't really go into the regionals with, with any sort of solid expectations. I just knew that I had to uh, to go out and put in a good good performance for the team because that was really what was so gutting about uh, about the conference meet. You know, that I felt like I'd, I'd let my teammates down. Um, and yeah, when 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 we got to regionals, um, I just felt really great on the day. <laughs> so yeah, I guess I just uh, I was able to to stay with the. It went out quite slowly to start with, and and I was feeling good in the, in the front group. And so when the when the move was made at about four k, um, yeah, I felt like I had it in with me to uh, to go with that move, and and it paid off. The three things that you think are really going to be keys to propel you to your goals this week. Yeah, I think teamwork is going to be very important because even though we are only seven girls on the starting line, we know that we've been training. Um, we were we are thirteen in the team, and we know we are winning together, and we know they are behind us. Toughness is going to be really important. It is for every race, but especially in this like high quality field, you really need to be tough the last 2K and run like to your maximum. I think if we all run with heart, then we'll, we'll do a good job. Um, we, we all know how much each of our other teammates has put into the, the training and the, and the races that, that go behind getting us to this point in the season. And so um, if we can remember that on the day and, and run with heart, then and it'll be a it'll be a good race.